It's a string quartet. It's acoustic music. It's actually acoustic computer music, which seems like an oxymoron, like a contradiction, but there it is. And it's actually not, not that bad, right? As far as string quartets from the middle 20th century go. Um, trust me. Uh, so uh, what's happening here is that the computer software has been set up to make some creative decisions on its own. Um, to give you another example of this, I want to show you something that's uh, a more common example uh, created by uh, a man named Conway called Conway's Game of Life. And it's a way of uh, creating really simple animations. Uh, and this is where the term cellular automata come from. It's almost like graph paper where each, each little square, we call it a cell, and it's as if each one is alive and is affected by um, the uh, squares around them, whether they're filled in or whether they're blank. And uh, this example shows how some really beautiful and organic patterns can come out of just very simple rules. These simple rules are the algorithm. That's what an algorithm is, just following simple steps and often with algorithmic composition or in visual art we might call it generative art because it's generating something from very simple starting point. Um, often those results are unpredictable. It's a matter of uh, exploratory research. You set something in motion and see where it goes and get to discover where it goes. Uh, and uh, sometimes it looks horrible or sounds horrible. Sometimes uh, within the hands of a skilled researcher, uh, they can look pretty cool. So, so you can get a better understanding of the nature of algorithmic composition, what an algorithmic is, what an al algorithm is, and um, how it's generating music, making musical decisions this way. Uh, take a look at this video, uh, just uh, this excerpt from the middle of it to get a better idea. <laughs> 